Hey, what's up guys? Bjorn here from Fiber Active and in this video we're going to look at the five best exercises that you can do at home if you want to lose weight or lose belly fat. Here we go. Right, so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please consider doing so. Smash the like button, the subscribe button is over there in the corner as well. In this channel we talk about health, fitness, wellness and exercise tips that will improve your wellness. So, do go ahead and subscribe. All right, back to the real video now. So, if you're looking around for some of the best exercises that you can do at home, you're stuck at home, you don't have any, you don't have any gear that you can use, but you have a problem and you want results and you have a need. So, here it is. If you want to lose a little bit of weight, here's what you can do to start off with. All right, so here are the five best exercises that you can do at home. First up, exercise number one, we will be going to do a squat. So, a squat is you moving your hips down to past your knees and then back up to the top again, right? As simple as it is, feet shoulder width apart or hip width apart, whichever one. Get a nice comfortable base and all you want to do is send your hips down. So from here, side on you, you're going to send your hips down to about here or even to your knees or even under your knees. Full range of motion is great. And then you're going to stand back up, okay? A squat looks like this, okay? Any variation of it is fine. Make sure your form is good, your weight's going through the entire foot and you're not loaded on the front or on the back. Stay as balanced as you can. If you need a little bit of support, you can grab onto your door frame at home and you can give yourself a little bit of support on the way down, okay? Now, as simple as it is, the squats work your quads, they work your glutes. They are your largest and, a, and majority of your muscle groups inside your legs. And if you can work your legs, you're gonna burn a lot of calories. And if you are gonna work your legs, one thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna make, you're gonna get a good sweat on. Do this for about 10 reps, 20 reps, and keep doing them for about five minutes, 10 minutes to 20 minutes. True story, I used to have a, have a client who was really, really overweight, and what I told him to do because he couldn't do anything else. He couldn't fit any of the machines that we wanted to do, work with in the, in the, in the gyms. He could not sit down uh, comfortably or he couldn't fit anywhere, right? So I told him to do quarter squats. That's all I got him to do. Quarter squats for 20 minutes a day for up to four weeks. And you know what? He lost about 10 kilos just during that. Just something so simple as that, okay? And um, squats are amazing. They work all the muscles in your legs, your your quads, your hamstrings, and also your glutes, and they're the best, simplest exercise that you can do to work and condition your legs and also burn your calories that you want to burn as well. But of course, you need to work up a significant amount of sweat and you need to challenge yourself each and every time as well. So if your body weight squats are getting a little bit easier, then what you need to do is to control the squats down in an eccentric motion, just like so. Once you get to that bottom point, or as low as you can get, stand all the way back up again. The eccentric portion of this squat will allow your muscles to actually work a lot harder, and then what happens is you're going to burn a little bit more calories. Okay, so that's your squats, that's your first exercise. Your second exercise that you're going to be able to do at home if you don't have any equipment will be your push-ups. So your push-ups will start from the floor, right? Of course, if you can't do push-ups off your toes, then you can do them off your knees and they, they go something like this, okay? Your hand distance will be as wide as your upper arm, right? Make sure your forearm's gonna be perpendicular to the floor. Make sure that you use your chest and your arms so that you're going to get the best out of this movement all right so the push up from front on looks like this chest touching the floor and then press out that is your push up okay so you want to be doing somewhere close to about 15 to 20 reps of this break them down into sets wait till you get to that burn if you have that get to that burn great that's what you want to work up to Okay. Make sure you keep working out so you feel a tiny bit of burn, body weight movements, you gotta do a fair few reps of them so that you get the stimulus of it. Now if this gets a little bit easy, what you 
want to do is get onto your toes and make it a little bit more challenging and press it off your toes. The key thing about this and trying to build strength is you need to get to a little bit of struggle. If you don't get to that struggle point, then you're just gonna be warming up your muscles. You need to go to a little bit of struggle. That's essentially what we wanna do. So those are your push-ups. You've got them on your knees, and also on your toes for a little more advanced. That's gonna be your push muscles for your chest. So next up, exercise number three, one of my favorites, burpees, all right? so. If you want to increase your heart rate, one of the most easiest and the most versatile exercise that you can do is called the burpee. Now, when you do the burpee, there's a couple of types of burpees that you can do. I'm going to show you two very simple ones that you can do. And I tell you, if you do enough of them, it will make you piss, all right? So, first up, we're going to do the scale version of the burpee. Some call it the half burpee. And all you're going to do is going to stand up, you're going to drop down into your push-up position, and then you're going to stand back up to the top again, okay? Again, into your push-up position, and then standing back up to the top again. Now, <clears throat> What it does is, it's gonna get your core working, it's gonna get your shoulders working, it's gonna get your legs working, and the change in the height of you standing up to coming into your push-up position is gonna raise your heart rate up quite significantly. Again, of course, if you're gonna start some of these exercises, make sure that you are cleared by your doctor to do all these exercises. Otherwise, make sure you consult your physician first before you do any of these, all right? so. Once you've gone with the scale burpees, go ahead and do the full burpees, which is chest to floor, and a little bit of a jump, okay? That is the full standard burpee, chest to floor, and a little bit of a jump. Don't forget that clap over the top of your head. Now, the burpees are so good, it's so versatile, you can do and add this together with all the other exercises that you're going to be seeing here. You can add your squat, you can add your push-ups, and it just spices up your exercise to a whole new level here, right? So burpees, simple as, here's what I do. There's a workout that we've, that we've designed over here, it's called the Stodgy, it's 100 burpees for time. Give it a go, take as long as you need to try and bang out. 100 of these, okay? But hey, if you are just starting out, of course, try 20 first, and then 40, and then 50, and then 70, and 80, and then finally try 100, okay? Make sure you don't chew too much off, otherwise, you're just going to be destroyed. The main thing about starting any sort of exercise is to make sure that you are doing them in bite-sized chunks and in manageable sets so that you don't do too much too quickly. Oftentimes people start exercise programs and then they go, all right, I'm gonna start running today and then I'm gonna run five kilometers. When you haven't done any running before and all of a sudden your legs are cactus for the next five days. And then, oh my God, running is so hard, it's so painful. Of course it is, you haven't done anything and you're just gonna try and think that you can run five kilometers from doing nothing, of course you're gonna hurt. So, make sure you progress yourself before you do any, any volume that's quite high. Remember, volume is what gives you the DOMS, and the DOMS is the late onset muscle soreness that you're gonna feel after doing your workout. Yes, it's good, it means you've been doing the work properly or you've been doing the workout very effective and then you need to make sure that you do the same exercise, recover and do some more of it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's your third exercise. Your fourth exercise that you're gonna do will be your lunges. If the squats are a little bit too easy, do a lunge. Take a step forward, sink the body weight down and back up to the top again. Side on, it looks like this. Take a step forward, load the front leg up and then punch it up all the top. Make sure your weight's on your heel. It's gonna work your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, just very nicely like so. A very simple lunge like so. Take a step forward, load that front leg, okay?
very very fun very simple to do again it's another variation for your legs it's a more of a unilateral exercise it's really going to target uh, that one singular leg it's going to put a lot of body weight into that front leg and it's going to make that muscle work really really hard okay so lunges also are really really good exercise for you do they're so effective exercise number five your door pull so we've covered your legs we've covered your chest We've covered more legs, now we're going to look at some poles so that we can go working on your back muscles. So, if you have a door frame at home, good, everybody should have a door frame, then I want you to do door poles. Okay, so your door poles are really going to work on your back muscles and the ones that you know will give you a more upright position and also shape your posture very nicely as well. So if you've got a door frame, of course you have a door frame, grab onto the door frame and then all you've got to do is you're going to pull yourself towards the door. You won't have a J hook there but you want to be squeezing through your shoulder blades like so bring it up to the door. Okay? A very simple one to do and if you do get to a park and you do find a horizontal rail you can do your rows off that as well there are some rails in the parts that you can utilize but if you're stuck at home you're in a condominium apartment you definitely have a door frame you have a table that will be even better you can slide underneath the table and then you can do poles underneath the table make sure it's not a glass table otherwise it can be a really catastrophe all right so those are some options there that you can do. If you have a table or a door, you can do your door pulls or your table pulls underneath there. That's a sick exercise there. That's your bonus exercise there that you're gonna get in this video of the exercise that you can do. Now, look at all these exercises again. Go back to the start of this video. Play it and get really good at doing this exercise as well. The most important thing is to make sure that you can do these exercises well and that's going to make sure that you have a good fundamental base when you do some of the other exercises that are a little bit more complicated and a little bit harder to do. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. Of course, there's much more to losing your belly fat and your body fat than just doing these exercises alone. It's all about what you do outside when you're not exercising, the foods that you eat, whether or not your mental state is amazing, whether or not you're getting enough sleep. Oh, there's so many factors involved in there. So we're gonna cover that in another video. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with these five exercises in there. Guys, practice them. If you've got any comments, pop them in the comments below. I hope you got some value out of this. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe because I got a ton more stuff coming out. And again, guys, thanks very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.